Okay, so someone left a comment the other day asking me whether I can do a handbrake turn with my new Porsche. <laughs> and I think the reason why he asked that question is because the new Porsche has what's known as an electronic brake these days. Um, down here, this little thing here, push it in. Instead of having the conventional brake in the centre here. In the good old days, yeah, you, could, uh, you could turn your car around, often 180 degrees, if you timed it right and you had the right speed. Um, you could you could flick the steering and pull up your handbrake and slide the rear of the car around. I'll demonstrate that now with my Golf. So I'll start with my little Golf and do it in the more conventional manner. This is a front wheel drive car and it's got a conventional handbrake. So we should be able to slide most of the way around. The problem is getting up enough speed in this very short space, but it's nice and slippery. We'll give it a try. So foot down, speed, 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 and turn and drive. And around we go, and we almost made it 180. So yeah, that's how it works in a conventional, old-fashioned handbrake turn. Uh, let's try it in the Porsche. Okay, so pretty easy in the conventional setup. Uh, with the new braking system, I think it's unlikely that I'll be able to do it. Um, uh, there's three things that, uh, <laughs> that are slowing me down. First of all, uh, timing. The, uh, the e-brake, when you press it, it mm, slowly turns on the brake. Um, as opposed to just an instant like pulling it up and so you've got to get your timing right. Secondly, it may not have enough brake force. I've, I've tried it in a few cars and often they don't have enough brake force to lock up the wheels to get that slide going. Uh, and thirdly and probably most importantly in the case of this car is that this is an all-wheel drive car so it's probably going to break all four wheels. But in the interest of science we'll give it a try. So I can have the traction control off, first gear, finger on the brake and off we go. Brake, brake, brake. <laughs> That's really a failure. All I felt there was that the front wheels did actually dig in. So, well, the car did go round from me turning it. It was braking on all four wheels. So what I'll do is, uh, to, to test the theory on a non-four-wheel drive car, I'll go steal my buddy Nick's car. He's got a Mazda 6, uh, which is just front-wheel drive, and he's got the e-brake in his, and we'll see whether we can do it in his. Finally today we'll try this car, this is my friend Nick's Mazda 6, I asked him for the keys, he said what do you need my car for and um, it's best not to ask, he'll find out when he watches the video right? So this car is a little bit of a pig in the snow, it's a front wheel drive with all weather tyres on um, but that sort of helps us in this case, the rear wheels should be pretty slippery and there should be no four wheel braking, it should just break the rear brakes and if you have a look uh, it's got a regular e-brake here takes a second to engage so I've got to plan a second ahead. But I think the real trick is getting up enough speed in this car, it really slips on the snow so let's give it a try, see if we can pull a handbrake slide with an e-brake. Here we go, oh into gear, <laughs> off we go, come on, come on baby, pick up some speed, pick up some speed, pick up some speed, brake on, woohoo, <laughs> how about that, <laughs> pretty successful. It all comes down to the timing, but yeah, I think the rear wheels did actually lock up, so the answer is yes, with uh, the correct amount of slipperiness and uh, a car that only brakes on the rear, you can still do a handbrake slide with an e-brake. Thanks for watching.